Hello, I'm Nightmare, and welcome back to Layers of Fear Inheritance. Right back into it. We just helped the weird toy cat get his will back and suddenly become alive. And we're doing the same thing over. Did I jump the gun or something? I'm gonna let Kitty Cat go. in the world is going on maybe I gotta stay right with the kitty I don't know I hate you good at least you can still feel something. I look at you and I see nothing. Not the beautiful girl I fell in love with. Not the mother of my child. Not even the hateful monster you pretend to be. Stay You're with just the kitty. empty. I look at you and I feel nothing. And it scares the hell out of me. You forgot to say how hideous I am. Go on. I know you want to. So, she changed when she uh, got hurt in the incident and made him hate her. Am I understanding Princess, that right? Princess, wake up. I need you to get dressed real quick. There are men coming. Some very bad men. They want to take you away from me, but I won't let them. We won't let them, will we? Huh. Yes, now I remember. Throughout all the chaos and misery, in his own flawed and misguided way, he did love her after all. His way of expressing it was a different matter altogether. Interesting. Very interesting. <clears throat> Last will and testament. I, grasping at the remains of my sanity, declare this to be my last will and testament. I hereby deem all my precious wills just as worthless as the shallow husks calling themselves my friends and associates. To my agent, Thomas Caldwell, I bestow the hellish vermin that infest my home, praying that they will gnaw away at him endlessly, bleeding him dry just like he did to me. To my publisher, Liam Brickstone, I bequeath the flames that consume the love of my life in hope that they will devour him, along with the wretched horror and the squilling bastard he calls his family. To my lawyer, James Jerome Sadler, I pass on whatever illness has rotted my mind and soul away so that he can feel just as empty and useless as he was to me. To any other parasites that come crawling out of the woodwork, I leave nothing. To hell with you, with all of you. <clears throat> Finally, to my beloved daughter, I leave all my earthly possessions for what they're worth. I hope they will inspire you to realize your true potential. The final most precious gift, however, is not mine to give. You will have to discover that on your own. I believe in you as I always have. All right. Sometimes the uh, controls are a little weird when you're standing a certain way. Uh, let's see. So did we get everything in this room? Oh, stop that. That dog better not be 
Or I think it is. Oh, hey, hey there, princess. You you want to sit on daddy's lap? Come no. On. It's okay. No, thank you. Daddy's weird. Oh, there's a note on the ground. Rat. Lies, 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 lies. Um, we'll hit this room next. We could never get in that room, at least I couldn't. In the main game. I'm sure there's probably a way to in there. It's still locked in this one. More drawings. Did he sick mommy, dad thrown a fit, and I'm locked in the closet. I haven't been in the closet for a long time. Huh. I don't remember that being there. I can hear you out there. Please, please help me. It hurts. Oh, it hurts so much. I can't take it anymore. Why won't you help me? Oh, you're just like your father. You don't care about me. You probably wish I was dead. Wow. So... Was the mother the one that was really, really bongers? She drove <coughs> all of us mad with her. Well, except for the daughter. That's kind of what I'm gathering now. It leads you more into the story. Like, it seems like she was miserable and created problems for everybody in the house. I could be wrong, but. That's the way I'm taking it. Is there anything in here that I need? Hmm. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Still the nicest room in the whole house. Why is that thing so blurry? We're gonna find out. All right, young lady. Shall we continue? Right. Whatever happens, just keep looking at me and listen. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. The princess was all alone in the garden. And yet, she felt that the evil witch was lurking nearby. As her eyes adjusted to the darkness, she saw something moving in the corner of the room. And yet, she did not dare to move, for she knew that that would be the end of her. <coughs> the princess was fearsome forward. As the princess moved, the growl got louder. That's creepy. Look at me! The witch had unleashed her familiar, the hellhound. The monster sniffed at the air. Its perky ears wary of even the slightest sound. The princess remained motionless, letting the monster pass. There was a stillness in the air. The princess breathed a sigh of relief. Oh, moment, I gotta try and keep looking at him like with all this craziness going her. on. And yet she knew that it was not over. There was still danger nearby, waiting for her slightest move. Frozen in terror, she kept looking straight ahead. Suddenly, 
she heard a terrifying cackle. It was the evil witch herself. The wretched thing despised beauty and innocence, for she had neither. The hag was near, just outside of you, but our heroine didn't dare to look. She had to keep her head straight. It keeps ripping it lest to the she left be cursed by the witch's foul magic. She could almost feel the chilling touch of the witch's hand at her neck. <laughs> she felt a sudden urge to run away, but fought it with all her will. Fighting it again. For she knew that was precisely what the witch would have wanted. And then, just like that, the chill was gone. She saw a blue light over the horizon. The sun was almost upon her. It was almost dawn. It was almost over. And there, the princess stood wow. triumphant in the sun, smiling as she... Wait, that's not right. Her face. Why is she still... scared? Princess, I am so sorry. It's not that he was cruel. It's just that, to him, reality was just a pale reflection of art. He was blind to the world, unless it was translated to him through a canvas. Interesting. Uh oh. Uh oh. That was weird. Alright. So I think we've explored the entirety of the upstairs. And I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. Let's uh let's go throw our stuff on the wall down here. Ugh. And So, where to now? Is this door open now? It was open earlier, wasn't it? I thought there was a door somewhere down here that was not open. Can I leave? Probably not. Nope. Achievement unlocked. I remember it like it was yesterday. All right. <clears throat> Dear friend, today before I leave for my new appointment, I intend to make one final attempt to communicate with you. Since you have obviously decided not to answer my calls or letters, I shall endeavor to speak with you in person. If you are reading this, then I have clearly failed, and for that I apologize. Should you choose to ignore me, I will slip this letter under your door. Hopefully you can at least read it. For old time's sake... <clears throat> if me knocking on the door has caused you any discomfort, please know that it was not my intent. I wish I could tell you that I found some miracle solution to your problem, but unfortunately, such is not the case. Do know that, as your legal represent representative, I always did my best, and that is the God's honest truth. Unfortunately, I feel that the issues you're struggling with go way beyond my expertise. At this point... I once again feel the urge to ask you to reconsider seeking professional help, but let's be honest. If you were to listen to me, you would have done it a long time ago. I regret, regret it had to end this way. Know that you and your family will always be in my thoughts. Your old friend, James Jerome Sadler, attorney at law. Fabulous. We probably should have listened to him. Hmm... So, what's our next objective here? I think we'd covered everything upstairs. Except for this door, but it's locked. No, it's not. <laughs> I don't know what I expected to find. I got an achievement. A farewell note? Let A final guy. will? What I found was 
an apology. Expressed in the only language he ever truly knew. At that moment, I could finally see my father for what he was. A man driven insane with sadness and guilt. Trapped in this house, a nightmarish echo chamber of past mistakes and tragedies. It was this house, a place beyond hope, beyond redemption. I knew what I had to do. I had given up trying to understand my father a long time ago. But I could finally forgive him. Much more of the story. Oh no, not Beard Baby! No, Beard Baby! Hey, Princess! What have you got there? Oh, that's so lovely, sweetie. Why pink? <laughs> Excellent way to finish that. That was awesome. I love this game. I hope there's more to it. I hope they bring out more, like, Layers of Fear 2 or something. I don't know. Uh, I don't think there's any more DLC. I'll check to make sure, but uh, if you guys got any ideas to... If there's more endings to Layers of Fear or Layers of Fear Inheritance or anything like that, let me know in the comments below. Um, I'll try and replay it if it comes to if there's something more interesting that I missed or something. Um, if you like this, hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you want to. Be nice to one another.